Splatoon 3's side order DLC definitely looked like it took a different turn than it originally was going to go with. I don't know what happened in the process of making this DLC, but it looks like it took a drastic, at least story turn, because things look to be a lot more darker and more focused on Agent 8 and the Octoling history, and it just kind of didn't go there. It just pretty much looked like it was going to deal with the internal struggles and pain from other Octolings in Agent 8, but it kind of shifted focus to more of a VR virtual reality world and just completely changed what I was hoping that they would go with. And I think a lot of people also felt the same way. And believe it or not, it seems like other aspects were changed as well. So today I'm going to go back to that initial reveal trailer and kind of discuss what they showed off during that trailer compared to what we actually got with the finished product. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. This next couple of weeks is going to be Splatoon everything so if you're excited make sure you leave a like and subscribe a lot of you watching are not yet subscribed so just do it real quick it'll only take a second but yep we'll be talking about splatoon everything for the next couple weeks theories bosses the gameplay everything but thank you for tuning in let's jump into the video the side order reveal trailer i know was a lot of just simple concept art and that's probably all it ever was but it definitely is evident that they were going a different direction at least at first nothing about what we saw gave off the idea of a digital world if anything it looked like a desolate world like an alternate dimension or some type of alternate timeline or realm where things were just dead in the area. The final version seems like it has a lot more dense snow covering the ground and the coral around the area and the fact that there's no snow falling in the final version. Also, there's more digital elements like the screen flickering and even the electrical wires covering the giant tower or spire of order. And it's very evident when we put them side by side and compare them, I don't know if Nintendo was ever going away of a digital world, at least at first. It just looks like a completely different vibe, even though it is still the same scene. You can even look up into the sky and see there's like virtual lines all in the dome in the sky that really confirms that we we are in a VR in the final product, and we don't see any of that in the old version. So if Nintendo wasn't necessarily going with a digital world, at least at first, what in the world was the story going to be about, and what was the imagery that we were seeing in that reveal trailer? Now personally, I just keep getting the word isolation stuck in my head. I feel like the imagery that we've seen always showed something that looked like isolation. The Octoling was always by herself, and just in this state of confusion and disarray, and seemingly looked like she was going through something by herself. And this is something that definitely did not happen in the final version, because you're alone a lot of people actually the entire time you're along oct and even pearl and marina join you and you just kind of crowded in the elevator with everybody where this one felt like it was a journey for yourself this was agent eight trying to find answers to something and it just seems like we didn't get that at all and once again i know this is just concept art but i mean some of these images were just sharp imagery i mean look at this one where you have these black giant ink spikes in the background and the octoling is just kind of sitting there with her hand on her face almost in a saddened state Date. We have images where it seems like she's just sitting down alone or looking out of a window alone. Even though in this scene in the elevator, you can see a boots from someone that's in the elevator with her. And personally, I feel like that could have just been Oct the entire time and that she was actually going to be the only character in the elevator with us at one time. But I honestly felt like this was going to be a story about not only Agent 8, but the struggles of the entire Octoling race, about how they had to live underground for all these years and how they had to serve under DJ Octavio and how some actually fled and left and made their way above ground and also the whole commander tartar and the sanitization and maybe showing some history of the octolings and what they had to go through or maybe even marina's pass or dug more into ox pass and they did a little bit in this dlc but it did feel like they definitely moved in a different direction where they did discuss these things and the story still revolved around this vr world being created to restore the memories of those that were sanitized but I feel like they moved to more of a digital world instead of more of an internal mental struggle that a lot of these Octarians and Octolings had. And honestly, I think it goes further than the story. I feel like the stages were just going to be dramatically different. Honestly, they could have just went with the same process that they've been going on with like the floating obstacle course in the sky and you just complete challenges um, because it definitely looked like it was going in a different direction. Nothing kind of gives me the vibes of a roguelike. There's no enemies surrounding the character. They're just kind of alone in these giant sections, which do look like full flesh levels at least at one time they were. And besides the levels, it looked like the enemies were going to be a lot creepier than what they were. As you can tell with the final product, they definitely didn't look like the concept art. They're very close, indeed, but they look a lot different, where in the final product they're just kind of black ink covered in these Lego style of bones. They don't even look like real bones or anything. They're all like Lego or block pieces that are put together where the original looked like fossil creatures and they definitely looked scarier than what we actually ended up getting. 
And Agent 8 actually looks a lot different. You can see in her left hand she has some type of speaker or something. It looks like a JBL speaker. And in her right hand she has a new version of a splatter shot. And both of those have an orange color where none of the weapons had color within the side order DLC. They were all white and flushed out. But also on her hip she has some type of keychain with a blue and green accent to it. Which is probably some other type of, you know, gameplay mechanic that was just completely ditched altogether. We also have pictures of Pearl and Marina, which look a lot different. You have Marina actually holding some type of megaphone or maybe even a new gun, and Pearl is holding on to some type of egg or something that looks like she's about to eat, and they all have like these white outfits on, and that's something we definitely did not get in the final version. There's even a scene of Marina standing outside somewhere looking very scared and shocked in the face. Now, there were some scenes to kind of replicate this when she finally came face to face with Order, the one that trapped her in the digital world, but this kind of seems more somber and more dark or maybe a flashback to her past and actually that's exactly what this is. I'm about to show a picture of Marina's diary from the side order DLC that you get from later in the game so if you do not want to see it please skip to the time on screen but I am about to show off just a quick picture from her diary that pops up in the game. All right here you go. I actually have two pictures that I want to show. The first one is her sitting in the Octoling school or Octoling college and doing her work like a good student and it goes back to the days of her and Oct in school together how Oct was a slack off and she was the more dedicated student. You can see she's wearing that same black outfit as the trailer had her in and also her short blue and green hair. A picture of her and Oct together. Her with her hair short once again in that same color and obviously Oct before she became the DJ Deadfish and was sanitized by Commander Tartar. So it looked like we maybe was going to get a story kind of focused on Marina and her past more instead of just this digital world that she created to talk about her past. So yeah, maybe we could have actually gotten cutscenes or maybe gameplay segments or throwbacks or flashback scenes of her in her school days and before she actually fled the Octarian army and maybe showed some clips of her working with DJ Octavio and the special unit forces. That would have been really cool but it looks like they just completely got rid of that. So what am I getting at, and what was this story actually going to be about? I think the story was still going to stay the same. It was going to be about the Octoling struggle and the past that they had to deal with. For instance, the sanitization from Commander Tartar, Marina's past, and even maybe Agent 8's past a little bit more. And I think that's where we were going to go. That's what the whole focus of the story was, which is still kind of the focus of the Side Order DLC today, but I don't think there was ever going to be a digital world. I think there was going to be a different antagonist. I don't think originally it was going to be a roguelike, just more story missions like we've been getting throughout the series. And I would honestly say I think they were going to go a darker route. Just by some of the images that we've seen and some of the character designs, it looked like they were going to go something a lot more darker and creepier, but maybe Nintendo told them no. And that's why now we have gelatins that are kind of made out of Legos and a main antagonist that I would say is definitely not scary by any means, especially when you figure out who they are. But I seriously want to know what you guys think. Do you think Nintendo was going to go darker with the story of Side Order? Do you think they had a darker story in mind? And did you think the gameplay was going to be different than the roguelike that we actually got? And would you have rather seen something different? Personally, I think I would have loved to see a story that kind of focused more on the history of the Octolings and struggles that they had to go through, and also just more of a creepy aspect to it. But you know what? What we got is still a lot of fun, but I do prefer the former if that's what Nintendo was actually going with. But let me know in the comments down below what you think. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe before you head out and thank you so much for tuning in and like always i'll see you all on the next one see you guys